similarly we have pi network जैसे t network होता है वैसे ही pi network होता है consider a symmetrical bisection okay consider a 2z2 this is z1 this is 2z2 this is your pi network with the uh, port 1 1 dash 2 2 dash i i2 i1 so consider a symmetrical pi section shown in figure in which the network is terminated in z0 at the port 2 to dash its input impedance is given by z in z in is equal to these two in parallel in series with this so this is 2 z2 z1 plus 2 z2 parallel z2 z2 and z0 in parallel whole divided by z1 plus 2 z2 z0 whole divided by 2 z2 plus z0 plus 2 z2 to make this more clear it goes this way you have 2 z2 into z0 whole divided by 2 z2 plus z0 okay na this is z1 plus okay this is in parallel to 2z2 okay so if this is a and this is b so equivalent resistance is a into b whole divided by a plus b this is resistance equivalent so is over here this is a into b and this is a plus b okay now by definition of characteristic equation by the definition by the definition of characteristic impedance we have z in is equal to z0 so i can put in place of z in z0 equal to 2 z2 z1 plus z1 plus 2 z2 z0 whole divided by 2 z2 plus z0 plus 2 z2 now by cross point plane consider the pi network a symmetrical pi network shown in the figure a pi section is shown in the figure when the network is terminated in z0 at the port 2 2 dash this is the port 2 2 dash this is z0 
so you have this pi section consider a symmetrical pi section shown in the figure when the network is terminated in z0 at the port 2 to, two to dash the input impedance is given by now these two are in parallel so we have 2z2 into parallel z1 plus 2z2 z0 divided by 2z2 plus z0 divided by z1 plus 2z2 z0 divided by 2z2 plus z0 plus 2z2 over here we have shown uh, this is parallel 2z2 into z0 so it is 2z2 into z0 divided by 2z2 plus z0 in series with z1 so it is in series the whole network is in parallel with 2z2 so suppose this is a and this is b what is the equivalent distance it is a into b divided by a plus b so the same it is over here this is 2z2 this is a whole thing is b and the remaining is z1 plus 2z2 z0 divided by 2z2 plus z0 that is b and this is a now further by definition characteristic impedance z in is z0 so i can put the above equation in place of z in z0 which is equal to 2z2 z1 in bracket z1 plus 2z2 z0 we have written the whole thing again now cross multiplying z0 z1 plus 2z2 z0 square divided by 2z2 plus z0 plus 2z2 z0 plus 2 z2 into z1 by 2z2 plus z0 plus 2z2 z0 whole divided by <coughs> 2z2 plus z0 ok this is a plus sign 2z0 z1 z2 plus z0 square z1 plus 2z2 z0 square plus 2z2 z0 I can write 4z2 square can write 4 z2 square z0 plus 2 z2 z0 square is equal to 2 z1 z2 into 4 z2 so this is 4 z2 square plus 2 z1 z2 z0 plus 4 z2 square z0 z1 whole divided by 2z0 plus z0 and this is 2z0 plus z0 this, this both will get cancelled and what remains is 2z0 z1 z2 plus z1 z0 square plus 2z2 z0 square plus 4 z2 square z0 plus 
टू जेड टू जेड जीरो स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर जेड वन जेड टू स्क्वायर प्लस टू जेड जीरो जेड वन जेड टू प्लस फोर जेड जीरो जेड टू स्क्वायर This judgment will not come. Okay. So what remains is now we can cancel out something. So let's cancel it out. This will get cancelled out. This will get cancelled out. Then. Uh, Z zero Z two square. This will get cancelled out. Okay. So what remains is Z one Z zero square. Plus. फोर जेड टू जेड जीरो स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर जेड वन जेड टू स्क्वायर नाउ टेकिंग जेड जीरो स्क्वायर कॉमन जेड वन प्लस फोर जेड टू इज इक्वल टू फोर जेड वन जेड टू स्क्वायर यू हैव जेड जीरो स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर जेड वन जेड टू स्क्वायर होल डिवाइडेड बाय जेड वन प्लस फोर जेड टू एंड फाइनली वी गेट जेड जीरो इज इक्वल टू square root of z1 z2 whole divided by 1 plus z1 by 4 z2 okay or if you want to lesser one it is z0 is Four z one z two square whole divided by four times z two whole divided by z one z two times four plus one. So this is z1 into z2. This is z0 square. One plus z1 by four z2. Characteristic impedance z o pi is equal to z1 into z2 all divided by Square root of z1 into z2 plus z1 square by 4, or this is equal to z1 into z2 whole divided by z o t, where z o t is equal to square root of z1 square by 4 plus Z1, Z2. So we have replaced this by Z O T, or so finally we get Z O pi is 
z1 into z2 by z2.